that could also be an opportunity for us to introduce the witness. So proceed with your cross examination. Chair, permit me to end there. I'll ask the client to pick it up from there. And so. Your permission? It is not the chair to record a statement for you to write on your behalf. But as you can see, the, 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 this committee does not co-script lawyers for you, Mr. Honorable Zaki. It is your choice, the lawyer of your choice. If you have a, a client to represent you, good enough. If you don't. Uh, chair, I beg for your indulgence. Procedurally, to give me time to get another lawyer. Mm -hmm. We will, but we like you, as you get another lawyer, we would like you to get to set the rules straight. Your lawyer should be very respectful of this point if they come. They also should be respectful of the people who are appearing before us. If a witness has already answered a question and we have it, you can't ask the same question. Do you understand? And that we take exception. The witness had already answered the question. Jebunja, what you is examining? Give him to a bit of more. Nick, I got to keep against the mass of the Bacola. Bag it from what day? Or would they? Are a test statement in Pandi? Bible Bobo <laughs> Abe <laughs> Bifana na bitia na hivi gara wewe bitio. Kakati, kakati yuko ni katatu wabu. Kanyo kubati, namba na kuke njini ukula wakari mchi wabu. Ene, mzengo mli mogu sikia asoba la kenda maso la mbe na anga kuhili. Nisara wabu. If you are complaining about defamation, it must be a statement of fact. It can't be a statement of opinion, a conjecture, a summary of sorts. You get it? It's not an opinionated statement that constitutes a defamatory statement. No. So, and those questions were really valid. Was this? Because in the statement, in the answer they are saying, that he said, Alinga Eyetunda. Two things here. Alinga Eyetunda. It's a statement of opinion. And the questions we are valid. Zemba de Moses, but they valid. Two. Question a yoga and much more at Tambia Hokan, a yoga hoku body or yagamba, no translation, a matia tundo will be a prostitute. Over a tomb be a dear tunda biofus. You get it? If you be not be important, what will pay tunda? Biofus. What will pay tunda? Mo mobili. Cutting a tree no kumania. Ye are together to pay tunda, mobiam fus, pay tunda kubiam or mobili. Gam Katia with the money which are body. Kati bibi nanga bibi important, bibi fali diyo kubuza. 
even your nanga will be worth investigating. We have to interrogate all those issues. So it's what was important. We needed to get to understand exactly. Was it a statement of fact? Was it a statement of opinion in the first place? As if she is in parliament selling herself. The, the other thing was about uh, the particulars of that statement. They have read in too much into that statement, importing in words which are not within the, 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 the video clip, like selling one of the body. In the statement, there was no, no such a thing like an allegation of one selling her body. It's not there. It is just about one selling herself. You need to put it into context. And that's it, exactly what we are doing. Was it polit being a political sellout or being a prostitute? And those are pertinent issues. Are we talking about a political sellout or we are talking about a prostitute selling her body? And this was very, very critical. We needed to understand that. And of course, even the name is important. There is Narumansi Chamatama in this video clip. And in her statement, she says a totally different thing. And she gives different names. In the voters' register, it's a different name. Subichi Nyamatama something. Then in the national ID, it's a totally different name. So we needed to interrogate all those issues. But the committee was so protective of this particular complaint and witness to the extent that they allowed her to violate the rules to bring a written text and present it just like that, reading a written text. How can you read a written text? a pre-prepared text before a tribunal, which is probing a matter of this very nature, of this magnitude. So it was out of order for the chair to allow her to proceed that way. And when they started confronting me, I couldn't take it and I said, ah, now this is good. Yes. 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 Ways to stand up in Parliament, you know, in Oku Bere HT when you want to take a moon song up, is Taina Makuru, that even to be Namakuru, Winji, no, 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 every Sunday to Wanga, we will go to the Wunji, no, for me to club and gay, you, the Kola Kun Songa, and Nunga Muninji, no. Nay, Gabola Ye, Waka Munange, was a committee, and Nay Saji Sizam, Nayala Gita Delanti. Parliament, Tajua de Chitiwa, Nimsadia Sizam, Abukira Bukira, name Beda in the Sam of Parliament, Ruyeri, Gagazo Kuagaloku, Kuba, no organizing of Kavala, Uba, who killed a parliament in the Bajiwa, whom song get a number of the Nakaton. So every year you get the Vilna, Vida Gira Delanti, a tea year, Yanukuanga Kibere, Kuang and Genesa Yisam. I know Kubanga Kerebe, the Bomutwe, Mulamu, I take it up Mundino, Uganda, Rumani, it's so kept the Muganda, you get Uganda, Rumani, Uera, Kayaka, Ibaganda, but Napochi, Murumuganda, I take it Uganda, Kubanga, to having a Navy Gavia, get a mini, have you together, Navy Awandi, seven mini, Kobamuandi, the Wandi, Kesu, the Antina, we take it up, passing up to Mukis of Yogero Sang Antiate, Yan, you get the Vitra and Yunayangans and Yoza. Twenty-five to win songa is a single way and I'm a cool bang is a way we are here parliament. What we song as of one baban to a pezar is okay wako, but Jacumula Mua, but I'm good to Jacumava to the point of it in a maku. A ratio pull about Rally Rote Nesa Jesam, a four sins of a case, um rodi, um such a chassis of Vero Mukakam, Mukwanga, Ukwanga, I'm Kawa again, or Nesa. Yomovakoyo, ne committee and yin 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 and nesa ye sam nano yin yin te watch tiwa nga rights is a fee nga abazem committee to go on to abak who's a who's open up the muye over nita na yengo muntu mulaba nga a little very stubborn tiger of respecting a chichi gena masum committee to respecting a cancer mubuza to get a zap when you put ida Nebi mali zanga bili kwe bicho. Sumu pala minti enu. Ndo uweza ba ntungabu. Elanga nga. Bwe mugamati. Bwe mugambu lwa liru. Aba ntungabu. Tuwa tuinu kuleta aba ntua. Aba mila kusonga za aba ntua. Kupanze muyambi yako ne mumanyi se kuanga. Nisipa diti mumanyi. Kupanze. Nze mkomiti. Musanze wanu katimuwade. Time mkubanga ne kamera zi mutunulamu. 
abantu bamutegire abantu bamumanye kati akwezo mukisogo ah lighting ensonga ze rakayi angire ku nsonga ze rakayi ebizu bi rakayi binye bisi bwe biru mpana yugana ne bana rakayi binji nyo 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 avuma mukisa guna gukozese aleme kubanga ata diverting a parliament ede ku bintu bitaina makuru bafe twagala kula banga tulwanira bana yuganda okubera mu mbere nnungi we muna mu mukuru gwe tuliko era twagala ku kuvako naye ye kenyine nyine ye we kitibwa era yatasanide ku bera mu parliament eno nga bwasa bintu za sina kubamu yatasanide kubanga ekola jyakola mu sibe na yugona je bagala era agende ye buze ku public kiche gamba public era ba yatasanide ku bera atenzi wanu singa baga singa wali obaza ke 10 wanu Ha singa Uganda ya chuka da singa waliwa zake nga chukumi wana mwenu parliament singa Uganda ya chuka da singa ni parliament ya singa edinechitiwa Echegwa ni dokuwela na cho mungu wanga ni chicha Sako nga wola vilo ya wange asituse Nga wanga tasula kukumina mbele vade munga chiko walilo Ni mbele vade ya daru nyo Vade ya daru kubaku mbaka muna mboyo wa mungu ne komiti yona yona wamu nga ye isa mu mbera enzibwe nyo eri embye nyo chenzi zako era komiti ngisabye nti bampo budde no nyeroya era nina kufuruma ndabenga nsobola okubanga njogera no mulodi tulabenga uh, at least akakana okulabanga tusobola kuhandolinga komiti ane komiti ne ngisaba nayo ekakane ebenge samwe kitibwa mu munze ngo muntu ne roya wange gwe mbandese mwechi tiba kuba oyo yomu kuba na mateka basinga mu gwanga lino Uganda na yola be mbere musukako umanyanta ati chintu chitsuse we chandi komie yomuko bato basinga kubira bakaka mukati nsabye komiti eberenzi kakamu ewechi tiba etembe lya feryo muntu ewe tembe lya etwe tembe mu komiti tukole twetaye tukole bitu ino kubanga tukolo kulunji nyumulabye ngande mukaka munyu naye munange munna fo mulabye bela jali mu nero yanga mukaka munyu naye mulabye bela je bamuyisiza mu komiti muyisiza bubi ah ne mubaka munange na tuyisa bubi so twagala okulabanga nze nsobola kugenda nsobola kubanga njuga nero ya wange ndabe obo kunonya loya mulala era byensabye komiti eyo kasubire komiti enedako twabenge college tu by Leonel Wakinya Matama for mental evaluation ah uh, today the committee has behaved in a very extraordinary way that uh, that it is really not supposed to behave in that way ah uh, you've seen it rightly that uh, the witness in the committee uh, my colleague, my fellow honorable member of parliament, she has behaved abnormally, just the same way how she ended the house prematurely when she was presenting the matter. It has been abnormal, it was abnormal. Actually, she even threatened to beat me. She threatened to throw me out of parliament and the house ended prematurely. And that has always been the blame they have been putting on me when I've, I've been talking about issues of human rights in that parliament in plenary. But she did the same way. And she's the same character. She has got to the committee, as you've seen today. She has come with a prepared uh, uh, you know, statement, which is not supposed to be the way. Doing that, she has behaved in the way that was very, very disorganized, in a very uncalm way. So that is not supposed to be the way. So as she has recommended that I'm supposed to go for a mental check, I believe she's the one supposed to go for that mental check because the way she's behaving, it is very, very dishonorable. She's behaving in a very dishonorable way in that she's been talking about matters that do not even concern the people of Uganda, don't even concern her constituency. She's trying to divert us from issues that are very important. We have issues that are very pertinent, issues of uh, human rights violations in Uganda. Those are very pertinent issues and many other issues of political prisoners and many others that are supposed to change the lives of Ugandans. So many important issues, but the committee has been used to do such things. It is really wrong for a honorable colleague to behave that way. Actually, such behaviors are not supposed to be in parliament as she has requested that i'm not supposed to be in this parliament i believe it is her who is not supposed to be in this parliament because we do not behave that way i have tried so much to become actually i have the most calm lawyer in this country he's so well behaved he has won in very many cases but if you see the lord mayor his worship behaving behaving in such a way that he has gotten out and 
tired of that committee. It means that the committee has behaved in a very dishonorable way, even the witness herself. She has behaved in a very, very, very wrong way. So I believe that uh, as the committee is supposed to respect my rights as a person they invited in that committee and I respected the committee and I came, I turned up even when I believe the matter that has been before the committee is a non-issue. It's not supposed even to be given time. But I respected the committee to come here. It's very unfortunate that it has behaved that way and I've advised the committee that next time it should behave in a, a good way. It should also give me time to look for another lawyer or convince my lawyer to come back if the committee is ready to behave. So it is okay. First of all, I think today's proceedings went on well, and uh, those that uh, feel oppressed or deprived moved out. But after having been given all the time to ask me, cross examine me, all the questions they wanted, to my understanding and according to how I have always seen them play their tricks is that uh, the questions were over and he had nothing to add on, but he needed to, to get out in that way. But secondly, good enough, the committee uh, is so fair to both of us, so they have asked for another lawyer. They, they are permitted to bring another lawyer, and uh, he says in two weeks he'll be ready. And that is well, because to my understanding, I don't think I need a lawyer maybe to something that is so clear that he said, but if he needs a lawyer to, to defend whatever he said, then it's okay, it's his right. But I also ask every person who, the right activist, and most especially him as the honorable Zake, to respect other people's rights, just like he carries a deceitful manner of saying I am a right activist when he's oppressing other people's rights. I think it is not right, but all in all, this is why we are here and we are waiting for the judgment. <laughs> Yeah, you're just
I'm responsible for the Honorable Julian Chinamatama's social media platforms and the Honorable Sen. Stand again for playing the video so that this case is made clear of what happened. And I state that the voice in that video clip, as you have heard and seen, was by the Honorable Zake. Second, the statements uttered out by the Honorable Zake against my person are false. Thirdly, the statements by the Honorable Zake have greatly affected my esteem and admiration in society as a woman member of parliament for Rakai district and also among my fellow members of parliament and my family members, but mostly at national level. Uh, concern number four, the video clip went viral on all social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, X, which is Twitter, online blogs like TikTok and many others. This has caused many social media users to use all sorts of ill-found comments on disparaging my reputation. The statements by the Honorable Zaki have exposed me to public laughter, indescribable hatred, mockery, and ridicule. The statement. With the written script. I think it would only be fair if this side also favors me a copy of that written statement of the case, the written corporate being presented. She's proceeding with the marathon presentation and we are not with the book. My worry is our witness, who is a member of parliament, tomorrow to be challenged on giving the written evidence. I would humbly request our senior chair, who is also a legal consultant, to guide us so that we don't give any room Honorable of his lordship, Elias Kwabu, tomorrow to challenge us. Because procedure, I think. Thank, thank you. They will freely challenge. Uh, you make it clear that you have allowed the, the, the council representing Honorable Zake and his team and Honorable colleagues to read what you are reading or the statement which you are presenting now. Honorable Chair, I have no issues of the national mental facilities to ascertain the mental state of the member given his conduct in and out of parliament. My second prayer is that the Honorable Zake is suspended from the House and all its precincts for the rest of the, sec of the session of the, this 11th parliament. The third is that the Honorable Zake be ordered to render an equivocal apology to me before the whole house retracting the defamatory statements as contained in the video clip. And lastly, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, Parliament must consider putting in place stringent measures and sanctions relating to a conduct of a member in another person's constituency. Thank you so much, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, for this opportunity. Well, thank you, it's the matter. Well, you're free and you'll be free to state your prayers. But the prayers shall not unfit these committee members uh, to, to recommend Parliament on what you have uh, laid before us. In any case, we want to give opportunity to the Honorable uh, Zake to cross-examine you. And then thereafter we shall call. Uh, for the purpose record, uh, for the record purposes, uh, my name is Juliet K. Subi Chinyamatama, woman member of parliament, Rakai district. Yes. So that's the name you carry in your, your national ID. Uh, yes. And you confirm the second time the name on your national ID. 
Uh, I'll only give a copy because I don't think I carried my ID, but I'll give a copy. I'll submit it officially to the clerk, not you. Do you have the copy right now with you? I have a copy on my phone. Please. Can you share with the, with the clerk? Can you confirm K is not there? Uh, I think for any land person you should know that Can you abbreviation, not there? abbreviations are not allowed on bank details. Uh, not allowed on a bank card, not allowed on a national ID, not allowed on a passport. Just, just call so you are confirming that it is not there? Yeah, I only wanted to give a reason also as to why it's not there. We know, we know. Some of those Can you also confirm that the name Chinyamatama is not on the voters register? Where is the voters register? Is it there or not? Where is, is the voters register? Chair, am I under cross examination? <laughs> you can't cross examine me out of my, my, my case. You write to electoral commission to confirm. Okay, let us do this. First of all, I would like to request both of you to come down. It, 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 it is not necessary to have exchanges. We are trying to, as a committee, to come to the bottom of this case. Just come down. You, if you are confirmed, you confirm. If you can't confirm, I can't confirm. And then you proceed. Then the rest you leave it to the committee. Uh, Honorable Chair, thank you for your guidance. I want to confirm that my national register is with the Electoral Commission and whoever wants to know, maybe this committee should consult. I am not in position. I'm not the one supposed to be confirming that. I think that question should be good for the electoral commission that nominated me at parliament where I work as a member of parliament. So for your case, you know or you don't know whether you are registered in Rakai district? That is a redundant question for me. I'm a woman member of parliament for Rakai no, district. No, no, no. Uh, uh, can I say it again? Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, I am the woman member of parliament for Rakai District and there is no way I can be a woman member of Rakai when I'm not a registered voter in Rakai. Thank you. So in any case, you were uh, appealing to common sense. Uh, I, I think what we do, uh, I will say it here before. You. Let, 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 let's, let's, let, let's proceed with Let's see how it is. What do we have the reason? We have the reason. Yes. Yeah. 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 Can you tell this honorable committee the full? name, the full particulars of the name on the voter's register. If you may. Honorable Chair, I think we also need to respect each other. He asked me my name, I mentioned it. Asked me for my national ID, mentioned it. It was read. 
my statement is clear. If you're critiquing what is on my statement, make it clear. I gave you everything, I have said it a hundred times, and I am Juliet Suwi Chinyamatama, Juliet K. Juliet K. Suwi Chinyamatama. The order doesn't matter, I know the rule. I will leave it at that. I will not push it any further. We shall handle it at another stage. Let me move on. Do not attend the gathering you are talking about. The bandit of the gathering of nine. At Iwama. Honorable Chair, like I said, and it is so clear in my statement that I was told, meaning that I was not there. Just confirm that you. And who in particular told you what happened there? Uh, thank you for that question. Thank you, honorable members. This takes us to why our witnesses are here. I, like I stated in my statement, that I got WhatsApp messages. And the one Kauma, who is who was before us, who is outside, is the one who called me and also sent me the video clip. And he's here to testify to what I stated in my so, statement. Thank you. Wonderful. It's Kauma who made the recording of that video clip. Can you I confirm? said it is so clear that he sent me. Is he the one who recorded it? He will explain where he got it from. The video was sent to her by the Kauma. Yes. And the Kauma is here testifying. So that can't be a question to her. It can only be a question to the one who is coming. Because that was. And just know that this is a formal process. The question requires yes, so not just say yes, but can I explain? Then we shall give you a chance to, to explain. We will not allow you to be put in a straight jacket. And if you want to explain, just say, can I explain? And the, the committee will be very, very happy to allow you to explain your yes or not, okay?
of the recent week. Did the voice in that video said it would be that of the Honorable Zake in any way talk about prostitution. prostitution. Honorable members, for clarification, I pray that you I pray that you replay because that question maybe he didn't hear the video. I pray that you replay the we video. We will replay that and so that question. answer will be answered. Just answer the question, the video replay. Because we played it, we have it, and by the time we reach a conclusion, we will have it replay for ourselves. Okay? Just answer the question. Chair, I request that you repeat his question. Repeat your question. The voice attributed, I mean, said it to be one of Honorable Zake in your statement, as captured in that video clip. In any way, talk about prostitution. The voice and the image of the person talking, who is Honorable Zake, in that video talks about prostitution. Echanyamatama, whatever he called it an MP from Rakai district who seems to be selling her body or herself in parliament. In my interpretation, and maybe the interpreter will help us, selling your body means prostitution. So did he say you are selling your body? Are you sure? He said I look like I think they should play it back because I didn't Did run. Please say so that you're You're not going to force me to say what I don't remember. Let it be played so that I hear what exactly remember you say saying. so. If you don't remember, you say so. You say you don't remember what exactly you say. I cannot say I don't remember when I have an opportunity to ask this committee to play it so that we know what exactly he said. It's you who is complaining and you should be knowing what you're complaining about and what you're saying is denigrated you. I will repeat what he said. Okay. Wonderful. So you interpret it in parliament. Two questions. First, did you understand that to be a statement of fact or a statement of opinion? I think it is both. Is it, it is a, both. It's both a statement of fact and opinion. Yeah, to him, according to him who was talking about me, maybe he has facts, and maybe it is, I don't know, it is up to him to tell us. So in your understanding, if one says, Aringa Eyetunda Mupala, you understand it to be a statement of fact? Mr. Chair, can we have the interpreter in English so that we are not to follow? Because this committee doesn't comprise of the Luganda-speaking people only. Chair, I can refer you to page 10, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500